I'm Sister Maria Louise. I'm a, going into my fourth year as a Felician Sister. I took vows August 10th, 2014, and then a week later I moved to uh, Mississauga. The school is a co-sponsored by the Basilian Fathers and the Felician Sisters. Part of the mission is to create Catholic leaders so making sure that there's that foundation, the code of conduct and, and the curriculum and all that is built on the core values and the spirituality of the Felician Sisters. The Felicians actually came to the diocese 1937. They started at St. Felix Center down in downtown Toronto and they began in, I believe it was education and now the St. Felix Center is an outreach to the poor. In 1964 they moved out to Mississauga and formed uh, Holy Name of Mary, uh, the school here. My students go to the convent once a week with Sister Maria Louise, so we are able to develop all of the Felician core values, not just in the classroom, but also at the convent itself. So bringing back all that it means to be a Felician sister and to live in Christ is immersed in the school daily. These Felician values really sort of ground us and make us holy and good people. Sister Maria Louise brings a lot of passion and joy to the students here at Holy Name every single day. She always has a smile on her face and there's, a, there's the light of God in her. You can see it in her eyes and they sparkle every morning. Um, and just when she's uh, speaking about Christ, there's this, there's this passion and this true dedication. It's a great role model for the girls, for myself, and we are truly blessed to have her in our community. She's just keen always to get involved and to be a part of everything that we do here at Holy Name, which is so wonderful because the girls get to see uh, somebody living out their faith and also enjoying all that school and education can bring. I was raised Catholic and I re um, received confirmation. And then after confirmation, I was given the choice to whether or not I wanted to continue to go to church and things like that, and I just walked away. After high school, I was trained as a computer programmer. During that time, I started taking theater classes, and I, st I decided this was what I wanted to do with my life. I wanted to be an actress. So I put myself through NYU. I got an undergrad degree in theater, and I worked in commercials and some theater, some uh, modeling. At the end of 10 years, I just realized there was still this longing in me, something in me that just wasn't, I just kept saying there has to be more than this. The first thing I did to try and discover God was I started praying the rosary. I had never prayed the rosary before, but I had seen my grandmother praying the rosary. Little by little, the Lord just kept leading me and that emptiness inside, just something was changing. But it wasn't until January 16, 1998, that I went to a prayer meeting and was prayed over for a deeper release of the Holy Spirit. That was the moment, you know, I opened my heart to God. And I just had this really deep experience of that God loved me personally. People told me after that that I glowed for months. I realized I was falling in love with the Lord. And I said, well, I didn't even know you could do that. <laughs> and after that, I started to look into religious life more seriously. I know that when the church declares a year like this, there is usually a huge grace attached to it. So my biggest hope is that as a collective religious, that we are open to that grace. All the girls seem to be really embracing uh, sort of how we can get involved in religious life or, you know, if we're called to the married life, then we learn to sort of understand that as well. Now that it is the year of consecrated life, uh, they can see what it means to be devoted to Christ daily and to live your life. Uh, in community with others and celebrate the Lord in all that you do and spread His Word throughout the world. If someone was interested in religious life, I would say that they should try it. Religious life is a beautiful life and it's a very life-giving life. And there's so much, for me at least, as a Felician, Felician means joy. There's just so much joy as being a, a sister. I don't think I've ever been as happy as I am now in my life. I never realized that Poverty, chastity, and obedience could be so life-giving. Religious life is an amazing life if you're called to it.